Got invited to a meeting with a group of guys, you know, very successful, family driven, but just, you know, kind of like a barbershop thing, boys, just, just get together and we talk about life, you know, investments and just also, you know, into, you know, just, you know, your faith, whatever that faith may be, coming together, talking, you know, as men, as fathers, as a uh, family, just grounding yourself, taking it back to the roots, you know, understand what's you know, really important. And also, you know, get some knowledge from some other guys that's been, you know, a father and a family, I would say longer than me. So um, I hope you all enjoy and uh, let's check it out. Well, first again, thank you guys for being here. Um, I would tell you, you know, the reason why, I mean, I'll give you a little bit of why this is happening now. Um, you know, stop making excuses and, you know, just start taking action. They say, we're doing this. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop hesitating. I just shot it out. It made my heart smile to see so many of you say, I'm in, I'm in. So tonight I even told coach, I said, listen, if we get two people to show up, I'm a happy guy. We're iron sharpening irons and us lifting each other. You know, I was telling Hank the other night, I used to go to the barber shop when I had hair. And I used to, when I used to go to the barber shop, I used to enjoy going there every other weekend just because you were around a group of guys just chatting it up and and you know whether it was sports or politics it was just everyone had an opinion and you always learned something from someone there growing up you know he got up in the morning went to work you know went to practice after work went home and took a nap for an hour went to night school so what that taught me growing up was okay being a man means being busy be busy, stay busy, either appear busy or stay busy, right? And so when you look at a man and he's not busy doing something, I feel less of a man. Mm -hmm. Like even in my time of peace, thinking about what I should be doing, what I'm supposed to be doing, what I better get up to do. Because I always want to be labeled as a football player, but you know, that's who I am and what I love to do. Since my back surgery, like in OTAs, I had, you know, I had to have back surgery and I never had a surgery like that before. And it just set me down for like 12, 13 weeks. And I was just, just so like stressed out about, you know, being injured, you know, obviously getting older, new coaching change, and um, just, a lot, just a lot going on and thinking in my mind and, you know, having a, a daughter that's one or, you know, about to be two. It was a lot of stress. You know, I was always pushing it away. And, um, you know, I woke up one day and decided I'm going to, you know, try to, you know, really be consistent with my faith. And um, I can honestly say since, you know, I've been hurt from that day on almost, you know, every other day or at least, you know, at least try to do it like five times a week of, you know, reading my Bible, you know, praying, which I never used to do. And um, just really trying to make, the, you know, the right uh, decisions and the best decisions for my family. So. It's definitely helped, you know, clear a lot of stuff off my mind. We got the opportunity to come together and sharpen each other. A lot of us have our own different challenges, uh, different facets of life, and sometimes we're so busy and our minds are going so much, we don't get the opportunity to pause sometimes and appreciate uh, what we have succeeded and what we've done. So we're not in this battle by ourselves. Wrapped up the meeting, a nice little barbershop slash faith's talk. I ain't gonna lie, it's definitely a stress reliever. Just be able to, you know, talk about issues, talk about things that you got going on, just, you know, your everyday life. So, feel good going into this week, you know, versus the Chargers. It's an opening in LA, our second home. So, you know, Raider Nation, all my BTH fans that's out there, and I appreciate y'all joining me on this journey. It's gonna be a great year. Raiders first game of the season. So excited to start a new season and wish everyone a safe and good game. So go Raiders!
What's up, Raider Nation? We're back. Um, obviously, we didn't get the job done against the Chargers, but um, we can't just let one game determine our season. New week, new start, new team, new opponent. So, um, learned a lot from that game and getting ready for this game. We just got to prepare well, play as one. Got to move forward. We just got to trust our keys, you know, trust everything we've been practicing and uh, go out there and give it a shot. The Raider Nation, bring the juice, bring the energy. And let's get this first win for the team. I'm gonna see y'all there. Go right in the next.